So cancer vaccines is a topic that's very near and dear to my heart since I started my career working on cancer vaccines. And um, at the meeting this year, there's been a lot of uh, discussion about um, kind of a, a, a reuse of cancer vaccines in a different capacity. So I think a lot of work was done in the 1990s and early 2000s in, in which we really tried to identify tumor associated or in some cases tumor specific antigens and a whole variety of vaccine uh, strategies were developed to deliver these vaccines. Unfortunately, uh, we didn't see a lot of therapeutic benefit coming out from the vaccine studies and, and a lot of interest then turned towards other modalities such as immune checkpoint blockade. However, I think there have been a few critical advances that, that have now occurred since the early vaccine era. One is that we now have the, the capability of very rapidly uh, genotyping tumors. So, so we can do uh, whole genome sequencing in a relatively rapid time frame. And what we've discovered is that there are many cases neoantigens that, that are present. And I think this is going to supersede the previous concept of finding a defined antigen that might be present in all tumors. And so this does require then making a very patient-specific vaccine and uh, there are some studies that are beginning to emerge using this approach. I think the other thing is that our whole understanding of the immune system and how the cancer immunity cycle works is, is much stronger today. And we know that it's not just about vaccinating, but also preventing T-cell exhaustion, which can easily be done now with using a checkpoint blockade and potentially other uh, therapeutic approaches. I think that there's, um, potentially many uses for vaccines that we hadn't thought about before. Uh, for example, in the, in the cellular therapy world, uh, where you give adoptive T cells or CAR T cells, one of the things that correlates with outcome is the persistence of those cells in the patient. And a vaccine may be a way to continue to boost and, and maintain the persistence of those cells. Um, also, I think the concept of moving vaccines into an earlier setting of disease prevention uh, which is where we use all of our infectious disease vaccines, is gaining some momentum. And there's some interesting work that's been presented showing that vaccination in the preventive setting is much more effective than in the therapeutic setting, uh, particularly in patients who have very advanced disease.